For the past few weeks, Rihanna has been sheltering in a women's refuge. In August, Pakistan was suffering the worst floods in its history. 19-year-old Rihanna went with her neighbors to collect food from an aid center. But it was a trap. The women she was with took her instead to a house where two men were waiting for her. They forced her at gunpoint to sign a marriage certificate and then raped her. Since she was legally married, she could not sue them for rape. They had a feud with my father, who had been appointed to the village relief committee. They wanted to teach him a lesson. They told me, if he can't protect his daughter, he can't help the village either. In Pakistan, the practice of killing women to restore family honor is known as karo kari. Gulshan narrowly avoided this fate after an enemy of her father accused her of adultery. When a karokari is declared, it is not the facts that count, but the accusations. When someone is accused of adultery, even if the person is innocent, she knows she can be killed. Sometimes, if a woman smiles at a man, she is declared kari by enemies who are going to complain to the tribal chief. Muktamai set up this refuge. In 2002, she was the victim of gang rape, an attack approved by a tribal council. Nine years on, she is still waiting for justice. Here she encourages women in a similar position not to give up the fight. When I manage to help them out, it cheers me up. But when I fail, I feel I'm living another nightmare. Pakistani women reported 8,000 violent attacks in 2010, but rights groups say the true number is much higher. The police stations are in the pay of the feudal and the tribal chieftains. So if a woman is kidnapped and raped or gang raped by the son of the feudal landlord and his friends, who is she going to go to? Rihanna is going to ask for her marriage to be annulled, but she fears revenge from her husband's family. Despite the efforts of rights groups, Violence against women in Pakistan remains undiminished.